Another step back for peace. The internationally recognized parliament in Tobruk has turned down the coalition government set up. 32 ministers are too many for a poor government that is loaded with financial constraints and a drop in oil production. It's a government that is based on political affiliations and not based on quality and will lead Libya to more chaos. We want a strong coalition government that does not exceed 15 ministers only. Libya is divided between two parliaments since mid-2014 an Islamist assembly in Tripoli, and an elected internationally recognized parliament in Tobruk. Their infighting has resulted in over 3,000 deaths in only one year. The UN broker's Suharad deal meant to unite both entities in a coalition government led by businessman Faiz Sarraj. This new government would create peace between the feuding factions and help fight ISIL. But establishing a coalition has proved a sticking issue. The only winner from all this huge and complicated political process are the different terrorist groups on the ground. The Libyan politicians here are underestimating the dire situation. They prefer their personal gains to the nation's well-being. They are not dealing with the dangers we face in the country and they are allowing foreign powers to meddle in our affairs. ISIL has been rapidly spreading in the North African nation, making use of the political chaos. The terrorist group also managed to infiltrate into neighboring countries. The international community is waiting for the coalition government to be appointed to allow military intervention against ISIL in Libya. The assembly has given Faiz Sarraj two weeks to submit a new cabinet. This peace process may not be over yet, but this wasted time is giving more room for terrorism to gain further ground in Libya. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.